Tara, a moonshot project under Google's parent alphabet, can now beam internet through the air using a photonic chip about the size of a fingernail. A project from Google's parent company, Alphabet, is debuting a new chip that promises to deliver gigabit internet speeds over the air, no cable needed. The technology comes from Tara, which has been using light beams to deliver high-speed internet without relying on traditional optical fiber. Instead, the team created equipment that can sit on a cell tower and beam light signals through the air, transmitting 20 gigabits per second to another receiver as far as 20 kilometers away. The Tara project has since developed a way to condense the equipment, making it easier to install while also reducing the complexity. We've taken most of the core functionality of the Tara light bridge, which is the size of a traffic light, and shrunken it down to the size of a fingernail, Tara General Manager Mahesh wrote in a blog post. The resulting silicon photonic chip still uses light to beam internet data through the air, but it now uses software to, to steer, track, and correct the beam of light through hundreds of tiny light emitters embedded on the processor. In contrast, the original system relied on physical hardware, such as mirrors and sensors, to optimize the beams. In tests at the Moonshot Factory Labs, our team has successfully transmitted data at 10 gigabits per second over distances of one kilometer outdoors using two TAR chips. We believe this is the first time silicon photonics chips have transmitted such high-capacity data outdoors at this distance, the blog post adds. The Tara team views the technology as a promising way to expand high-speed internet in underserved areas without needing to lay expensive optical fiber. These units can be installed in hours instead of the days, months, or even years it can take to lay fiber, Mahesh wrote. The team also told Wired that Tara could rival SpaceX's Starlink, which harnesses orbiting satellites and radio waves to beam high-speed internet to users on the ground. The problem is that Starlink's capacity can struggle if it's oversubscribed in populated areas. We can offer 10, if not 100 times more bandwidth to an end user than a typical Starlink antenna, and do it for a fraction of the cost, Mahesh told Wired. That said, the technology does face some challenges. For example, bad weather from fog, rain, and even flying birds can all potentially disrupt Tara's equipment from beaming the high-speed internet data. But the Tara team has been coming up with mitigations, according to Wired. Expect the next-generation Tara chip to launch sometime next year. But a lot remains unclear, including its cost and where and how the technology will be deployed. In the meantime, the Tara team is working to extend the range and capacity of the photonic chips with a new model that'll boast thousands of emitters on the silicon. As part of Tara's development, the project has already deployed its optical communication links in more than a dozen countries. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.